Hello and welcome back for part three of Integumentary. We'll start with skin cancer. So I just put this little graph up here just to kind of show you right here, this little green section, basal cell carcinoma, 70%. The most common type of skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. So that's very helpful to know. Second being squamous cell carcinoma. And the last and most serious one that we'll talk about is melanoma being about 10% of the skin cancers. <clears throat> Let me start with actinic keratosis that you didn't see on that because it's not a cancer. It's a common precancer. It's a precursor to cancer. And it's the most common precancer that forms on skin damaged by chronic exposure to ultraviolet rays, generally from the sun or tanning beds, but an overexposure to ultraviolet rays. Actinic keratosis can develop into squamous cell carcinoma. Some of them do, some of them don't. We don't know which ones do. So this is something that we do want to treat and get rid of because of that fact. <clears throat> you can see here it's rough, scaly patch on the skin. Like I said, generally from sun exposure, often on the hands, on the feet, on the scalp, just places that are exposed mostly to the sun through our lifetime. Very common in an older population. Because it's not cancer and it will develop into squamous cell, it could, some types do develop into squamous cell, um, removal is highly recommended. And generally just remove these by just freezing them off with some liquid nitrogen. So, you know, people generally over 50, they start going to the dermatologist and getting skin checks. And when they see those, they will freeze those off. The next one here, atypical moles. Atypical nevi or dysplastic moles, dysplastic nevi are um, caused by collections of melanocytes in which the cells grow in a normal way. So melanocytes are pigment producing cells in our skin. They produce pigment. And so these, these pigment producing cells start to grow, like be hyperplasia and start growing in an abnormal way. And we get this mole looking thing, this dark thing. A typ atypical moles may occur in, as new lesions, or it might be an existing mole that just starts to change in an abnormal way. Lesions may be single, or sometimes people just have multiple, just multiple lesions on their body. People with atypical moles may be at increased risk for developing skin cancer with the risk increasing with the number of atypical moles present. So obviously, the more you have, the higher chance you have for one of these atypical moles to progress into some type of skin cancer. So just keep in mind as far as being able to recognize skin cancer and to be able to teach patients who have these different moles uh, atypical moles and what to look for, A, B, C, D, E, asymmetry, one half does not match the other. That's usually a sign that with these kind of asymmetrical borders, that could be a problem. That's, so we want to make sure we get that checked versus something that's a perfect sphere. Uneven borders, see how ragged this is instead of nice and smooth. For B, C for color, a variety of colors like brown, tan, and black. Often a mole will change color or get darker. D diameter grows larger than the size of a pencil eraser, greater than about a quarter of an inch. That's another sign to be cautious. And E evolution changes in size, shape, color, elevation, another trait, or a new symptom. So it evolves into something that it's never looked like before. The next is basal cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer in the basal cells, a type of cell within the skin that produces new skin cells as old ones die off. The most common cause of skin cancer, which we saw, is basal cell carcinoma. 
It often appears as a slightly transparent bump. See, it's not real dark on the skin. It can take other forms, but this is not an uncommon look for it. Occurs most often in areas of the skin that are exposed to the sun, like face and head and neck and chest. Most basal cell carcinomas are thought to be caused by UV light exposure. So avoiding the sun and using sunscreen may help to protect against basal cell carcinoma. A melanoma, <clears throat> the most serious type, not the most common, but the most serious type of skin cancer develops in the melanocytes, which are the cells that produce melanin, the pigment, pigment that gives your skin color. You kind of see this right here. It can form, it generally forms in the skin, but it can form in the eyes and rarely inside the body like a nose and throat, but it's definitely can form in the eyes, but the most common place for melanoma is the skin. The exact cause of all melanomas isn't clear, but exposure to UV radiation from sunlight or tanning lamps and beds increase the risk of developing melanoma. Limit your exposure to UV radiation. The risk of melanoma seems to be increasing in people under 40, especially women. So like I said, knowing the warning signs that we just covered of skin cancer can ensure that that's, this is detected early. If it's detected early, it's very successfully treated. You can kind of see this melanoma, how deep it's getting here into the skin. Thank you.